Ambassador, Honourable Guests, thank you very much. Thank you so much for inviting me. It is it a great honour for Sandwell to hold uh, this Nepali cultural event. I'm so glad you've come here uh, and thank you so much for inviting me. Um, uh, what do I know about Nepal? Well, a little bit, not a huge amount. Nepal was never a British colony, but there's always been a special relationship for over 200 years. I think we should be very proud of this and celebrate it. And this is probably best exemplified by the relationship with the British Army, in particular the International Revered Gurkhas. In the, those 200 years, Nepalese Gurkhas have served with the British Army in many battles and most notably in the two terrible world wars of the last century. They were awarded numerous medals, including the 13 Victoria Crosses. Their reputation for discipline, skill and bravery is well known all over the world. Nepal is a country quite big actually, 800 miles long, 200 miles wide and includes a huge range of geography rising from the terai in the south, the grasslands and the rice fields including the stunning Chitwan National Park to the highest peaks of the Himalaya. Eight out of the ten highest mountains in the world are, are at least partly in Nepal and this of course includes the famous Sagamata, usually known as Everest that's 8,488 meters, it's huge, it's enormous. Um, it was my great pleasure to visit Nepal on two occasions. Uh, this is quite some time ago. Uh, I was so happy to, to, to land finally in Kathmandu. I practically skipped across the tarmac, collected my backpack. Uh, and headed off to the Tamil district. This was the backpackers region. Not the most salubrious, but absolutely great fun. I really was happy. I arrived just before Diwali, trying to get a trekking permit. At that time of uh, the year, it's not easy, believe me, but I managed to do it and stay for some of the Diwali celebrations. Uh, believe me, they were noisy, but it really was fun and they, it was wonderful how we were included in all sorts of things. That was the beginning of a four-month trip going down from Nepal, India and into Sri Lanka. Uh, I, we had a few days in Kathmandu and in the area. I saw some temples, just wandered around the cities, looking at some of the old buildings, just experiencing life in the markets. Um, went down to Chitwan, Again, as you say, absolutely beautiful. We saw loads of animals. We saw, I think, a place that was actually um, looking at little alligators, forget what they're called. The following day, the driver asked us to uh, go in the river to mark out the spot to drive the truck across because it had rained in the night. I forgot about the alligators we'd seen the, the day before. Anyway, didn't get bitten. Um, it was a bit difficult, the current was strong, so I had, had to hang on to a bull cart to, uh, to get across. That was an adventure, it was stunning, it was beautiful, I'd do it again. Uh, as a year later, I uh, really wanted to see a bit more of the other end of, Annapurna, of um, Nepal, and did with a friend the Annapurna circuit. Annapurna is over 8,000 meters, um, huge, beautiful mountain with a nice ring around it. Uh, it does so go from uh, Kathmandu to Pokhara via the high pass of Torumla, that's five and a half thousand meters, it's, it's about 18,000 feet. It takes your breath away in every way you can imagine in its beauty and not least because of the effects of altitude. Above us, however, crows were flying. It's quite staggering how far they go. On that memorable trip, we stayed in villages, were made to feel very welcome. 
everything's fairly basic. I don't know how things are now, but I suspect it will still be. Uh, however, we still enjoyed the most beautiful country. It's difficult trekking in December, in, which is winter, is difficult. At night it falls well below freezing. In the daytime it's warm enough to take a shower and water is heated by coils of hose pipe in a makeshift little shed. Um, you do get clean. Uh, without knowing each other's languages we still managed to laugh together. I could go on for some time about that trip uh, I learned lots. I learned that chickens don't live above 3,000 meters. Yaks do. Um, <laughs> as you go over the high pass, that's the absolute highlight of the trip. It's, uh, it's quite strenuous because you only you start at about 4,500, you go 5,500 and then drop down towards Muktinat, a uh, stunning temple. Uh, and once you've been over the pass, you're so happy to see that temple because you know you've made it. Um, it really was quite a challenge, but it was beautiful. Uh, you see small planes coming through the valley. Those pilots must be so skilled because there are winds wafting them around. It's really most incredible places. We did see the Mustang Valley, but we could only look at it as tourists because it was closed. You could see the donkey trains, but uh, we were foreigners and so we weren't allowed to go in there. You see plenty of large birds. We saw uh, an eagle take a chicken. <laughs> Believe me, you look above that. <laughs> anyway, since those trips almost 30 years ago, Nepal has undergone a number of changes. The first, we must not forget, are the huge political changes. I, and I went to the Kingdom of Nepal. It is now a republic. It wasn't an easy time, we know that. Uh, and then just as things are settling politically, what should happen but the most dreadful, dreadful, dreadful earthquake in t April 2015. And if that wasn't enough, there was another one of similar magnitude two weeks later. Uh, I have friends in Kathmandu who were staying there at the time. They gave me their accounts, they showed me their photographs. Ancient buildings reduced to rubble. Lots of people helping each other. Ladies and gentlemen, Nepal needs a break. I am so glad you're here. Everyone should, well, the mountains are still there. It is a stunning place to visit. You will have a good welcome. Um, I hope that Nepal becomes a safe place to do business for tourism and again to remember how the Nepali Gurkha army came to our aid when we needed them. Let's hope we can reciprocate, strive for good relations and thank you once again for your very kind invitation for listening. Uh, I, I do hope that the Nepali tourist industry really does take off because there is so much, so much to see that is only available in Nepal. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Honorable Mayor, Dr. Anne Jaran.